Mind if I join you? Sure. Busy morning. Yeah. You? Not really. Just as well. My head's still banging from last night. Pity you couldn't drag yourself away from Sarah. I had a great night. So we went out then? Oh, yeah. Get to bed till three. <laughs> Didn't get to sleep till five. So who'd you go out with? Well, not on my own. Big boy, see? Don't need anyone to hold my hand. Oh, yeah. I had a great night. I had a really great night. <sighs> Being dead on my feet's a small price to pay. Did you... Did you meet anyone? Well, that's the thing about setting foot outside your front door. You do tend to meet people. You know what I mean. Oh, you mean did I meet someone? Uh-huh. Was... Whoever you were with, was he nice? <laughs> nice? Don't laugh at me. Yeah, he was nice. He was six foot, played rugby. Not what he wanted to hear. Oh, and he didn't run off back to his pregnant girlfriend afterwards. Why are you doing this to me? I'm doing anything to you, Todd. You're the one doing it. All I'm doing is getting on with my life. Don't that's what you wanted. Now it's up to you to get on with yours. Right, Todd. Jason, you can put the poker down. It's our Todd. If you think about it, you go away, you're lying in the sunshine. The you're right, bro. Salt water and the full water. Uh, you stop with your tea, love? No, no I'll just pass him. All right, well, I'm just putting the kettle on for Lazy Lump here, so we'll chop brew. Yeah, thanks. Something's not right. That's plain for all to see. So, uh, do I talk about it, you know, problems shared and all that? It's nothing really. Oh, good. Because I'd hate to think there was anything seriously bothering, you know, something like uh, getting married or uh, having a baby. Something like that. Look, I'm not prying, love. It's just, I know you. And I know you like to keep things to yourself, and that's fine. That's just your way. Not like me, eh? Stood on the doorsteps, griking for all the world to see. But I'm here for you, love. I always will be. Why... Why were you so against me and Sarah getting together? Was it just because you thought I was throwing my life away, or was, was it because you thought we couldn't be happy, that, that she won't make me happy? Whoever you were with, love, I want them to make you feel happy. And does she make you feel happy? She did. But not anymore. Oh, love. I'm sorry. No, don't be sorry. It's me. I thought... I thought it was what I wanted. Not anymore. Not anymore. Well, do you know what it is you do want? I know what it is I don't want. I don't want... I don't want to be me anymore. I don't want to carry around all these things I've got in my head. Wanting to please people. Wanting to do what's right when it's not what I want. What I really want. I don't want what I've got. I want something else. Someone else. Someone else? Todd, are you telling me that you're seeing someone else? He said it was nothing. He said it was probably just wedding nerves or something. Yeah, well, maybe it is and maybe it isn't. I mean, who knows what's going on inside his head, but, I mean, sleeping on the sofa, that's not a good sign, is it? I mean, they're not even married yet. Well, I've asked him what's wrong and he wouldn't tell me. Listen, love, he's, he's still very young. Just have patience. Let him work things out for himself. It's nerves. That's all it is. Everybody has that. I'm mad inside, but I love someone else. I've said it. I hate myself. Look, it'll be all right, okay? It'll be okay. No, it won't. It can't be, Mum. It's not.
Candice or Maria or someone called Anne or anything like that. His name's Carl. His? Yeah, his. I'm in love with a man. It's a man. You're in love with a man. Yeah. Does he know? He knows I'm interested. And, um, does that bother him or is uh, he interested in you? Well, he was. So he's gay, is he? I didn't mean to drop all this on you, but I needed to talk to someone. He's really wound me up today. What's he done? I well, saw him today in work, and he told me he'd been with someone else last night. So he sleeps around, does he? I don't know. Mind you, don't they all? <laughs> well, he might have just said it to make me jealous. They're all the same, you can't trust any of them. No, do you know? I'm talking about men, not... Oh, do you know, one man in a couple's bad enough, but the thought of two, one on either side, I just dread to think. I'm not like that. I know. But the thing is, he's really got to me. I hate him for it, but he's really got to me. So what are you gonna do? He's <laughs> Carl? Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. I'm Todsman. Todd. Let's not waste time pretending, shall we? I know about you and him. He told me. So I think we should go and have a word somewhere more private, don't you? Nothing's happened. Not much, anyway. Of course, some it's happened. We haven't. Uh, listen, my son's in pieces. To me, that says some it's happened. My Todd's the most caring, vulnerable boy I know. Oh, here we go. So I preyed on some poor, defenceless straight boy, did I? What I'm saying is that... Because that's what we do, isn't it? Go out looking to convert. I've not come here to blame you. What have you come for, then? I don't know. To talk to you, to... to try and make sense of what's going on in his head. Isn't it him you should be talking to, then? But Todd's a smart boy. I mean, I, I thought he'd been swapped at birth because his brains didn't come from me. And his father, well, he wasn't the fizziest drink in the fridge either. Up here, he's way ahead. But in here, he makes stupid choices. Oh, I. Look, I'm not talking about you. Well, not just you. I mean, Sarah was a mistake from day one. You make him sound like he's got no mind of his own. Well, if he has, all it's done is torture him. How can my sensitive, deep-thinking son get to the point where he almost wished his baby had died? He said that. I need to understand what's going on for him. And somewhere down the line, you're a part of all that. I need to know what to do for the best before he destroys what little there is left of him. <laughs> my little sister found out at Christmas. And all she said was, what, like Will Young? She thought it was cool. I think what changed my mum's attitude, to me, was realising she didn't have a choice of having a straight son or a gay son. What she had was a gay son. What about Todd? What about him? Have I got a gay son? I need to know.